Importance of Productive Skills in English Language Learning Nowadays when it comes to English learning, people are likely to say speaking is the most important and difficult part of people's learning. But actually, writing is also significant even though it is the most neglected skill. Speaking pays more attention to accuracy and fluency, while writing highly requires accurate grammar, more formal vocabulary, right spelling, and beautiful handwriting. Even though they are two different in many ways, the two carry equal importance. Speaking and writing are both used for the same purpose, making successful communication with people. Major skills. But you may ask me how to master English speaking and writing, as the two are obviously essential. First of all in the opinion of me, if you wish to have brilliant oral English, you have to dare to say and enjoy losing face. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. If you have a chance to speak, seize every opportunity to express yourself. Secondly, try to memorize as many words as you can. Vocabulary always plays a key role in speaking. After memorizing words, never forget to put them into practice through the way, like making a sentence, a dialogue, a short story, or simply a speech. You may find you have grasped the words deeply in your mind, and won't forget them easily. When you are equipped with basic vocabulary, you can practice your pronunciation as loudly as possible, as clearly as possible, and as quickly as possible to ensure accuracy. Besides if you want your accent sounds more excellent, you can start with imitating some tapes, or through the use of some apps on your phone, which can also be used to improve your intonation as well. Writing What about writing? Firstly, we should make our ideas clear in our own minds, and then write down in a clear and lively way. What's more important? Handwriting should be clean and tidy, spelling should be correct to avoid misunderstanding as well as the right use of punctuation. Especially some basic grammar rules, try to keep roles in mind when writing. Speaking According to my personal teaching experience, I found most of the students are likely to speak English and think in a Chinese way. They are with many native accents. Vocabularies are usually easy to forget. When they have a chance to speak, they are not confident enough to speak in public, and worry about making grammar mistakes. As to writing, they can't find the appropriate words to use, and sentence structures are mixed. Their writings are illogical and unclear. Therefore writing a composition becomes a real hard thing for them. In order to solve their big problems, after each class I always encourage them to dare to speak. You are the best, the only one in this world. Fear cannot help you but affecting your performance. If he or she still feels shy and a little timid, I usually say the word or phrase and ask the whole group to repeat. Under a safe environment, she or he seems confident to speak out. As for writing we often prepare a notebook for marking beautiful sentences and useful sentence structures, which can help them to write better. Or we organize a game asking students to complete speech bubbles in cartoons, and make a story themselves. Herein I would like to say speaking and writing are not as difficult as we thought, so long as we master the effective and proper ways. Learning English should be fun. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.